Oh, the head drama. Check out these stories on our new and improved website, dailybuzznow.com. And do me a favor, pass the aspirin while you're at it. You know, over the last couple of years, there's been several articles, you know, describing what the perfect post-grad woman should do and mm -hmm. the steps you should take after you, you know, get your degree from college. Right. Start a career, get married, have 2.5, you know, kids, yeah. live in the house with a white picket, two and a half men, <laughs> my bad, uh, live in the house, da 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 whatever the Supposedly case Supposedly the be. perfect picture. Supposedly. And then it kind of switched and it was like, no, you're supposed to wait. You're supposed to wait and, and start your career and carry it on to your mid-30s and late 30s and then maybe settle down and that's and a have result kids. of them saying women are more successful these days now Absolutely. and they don't need a man to rely on. Now people are coming out and say, wait a minute. If you hit 30, it's too late for you to get married. There's a deadline on getting married. No, Do you buy this? No, I don't buy this at all. I mean, I'm closer to 30 than 20, unfortunately. And I don't buy this uh, one bit. I don't think that there should be an age put onto it. I mean, you get married when you're ready, when you find the person. Why should you settle and rush into it just because some statistics said that you should well, be married by the time and, you're 30? And this is based on a new study out of a Chicago-based research outfit, Truth. And a blogger is saying, well, when you look at some of the things that are pressing in your 30s, this is why you should get married, settle yeah. down, have kids. And, and uh, hold on, give me, let me just run these down. Um, you have complications with pregnancy once you hit 35 years old. Um, if you want to have more than one child, you need to start earlier before you hit 40 because more and more complications, you know, But with modern medicine there. and technology, I mean, uh, uh, there's women that are having children 40s and 50s Absolutely. now, and they're, yeah, and they're but, fine. But there's still dangers associated of with course. that. And, and so, you know, it, it, that's, it's, the, it's the biological but, reality. It's, I mean, it's tough because it's definitely, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a more of a reality for women than men, but that's just the biological reality is that kids make it difficult to wait too long. Make well, sure not. I, I don't like studies like this only because I think um, there is no right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. um, I hate for you to say, well, you have to get married at 30 because then someone may feel rushed to get married, have That's children, I mean, settle, and, they and, settle and, and, and then they realize, you know, they go, wait a minute, why did I do this? This wasn't the right decision but for me right now. You know, the enormous divorce rate. <laughs> exactly. But you know what, though? Uh, if, more, if more couples, and I don't mean just women, but also men, you know, did what some people do, but very few these days, is you know you want to have a kid, you know you have, you're the type yeah. of person, even when you're a teenager, you know you want to have a family. Have your family in your early 20s, and then you know what? As a woman, you, you go into the workforce once they're in school, and then you won't have to interrupt your career and suffer all those, you know. Yeah, but, but baby, let me tell you, as a mother, as a working mother of two, it is certainly hard uh, yeah. to do that. Uh, let's uh, talk about our question of the day. Here it is from Head Drama. Is the cutoff age for marriage 30, or can you get everything you want after that? Dish your drama, dailybuzznow.com. That's the place to go, or contact us on Facebook.